Match that stands out, surely it might be the LDV victory with uh, Bridges' penalty and extra time that sealed it for you. Well, it was because it, we should have played here, obviously, and we, you know the, at, at that time we were getting lots of uh, wet weather and we, it was off, off and off again. And then in the end they, they said they got to switch it, which we didn't want to do. I mean, I didn't want to do because I wanted to win that game and you think, you know, putting pressure on you going down there. But we played fantastic and deserved, thoroughly deserved to win the game. Um, culminated with obviously us winning the LDV at Cardiff, so that was even sweeter, but to beat Stoke on the way was a nice one for our fans. And what about that goal celebration, reminiscent of David Pleat running across <laughs> for you when you were a player at Luton? Yeah, I mean, you can't do that in general in general play, can you? But obviously with it being a golden goal, uh, and it was at the end uh, where our fans were as well, so it was, uh, it was a great moment. And that LDV match, of course, I think uh, your gaffer was quick off the mark and you were trying to catch him up, weren't you, running across that pitch? Yeah, well, he said he hadn't got much pace, but that night he had, that was for sure. Uh, yeah, it was a great occasion, I think, you know, to to beat Stoke on their own. I mean, it should have been played here as well, that was the thing, and we, we switched it to their ground and to go there and win the in the style we did, um, I thought was exceptional, really. Now, what about the LDV match? That obviously holds a special place in your heart because you were the golden goal winner on the night. Yeah, um, I mean... People still remind me of this to this day, but I mean, it, it was a team performance really. I was lucky enough that I got the chance to, to put the goal in, but it was a team performance that got us that far. And and I think really, looking back, we perhaps could have won it in uh, normal time. Didn't didn't happen, but um, we still got to the final anyway, so it was good. When the referee pointed to the spot, was there any hesitation in ever picking that ball up and thinking, I'm going to take this, definitely? Always, always going to take it. I didn't, I didn't even feel nervous really. I mean, I was ecstatic that we got a penalty. I ran up, grabbed the ball and was buzzing with the rest of the lads. And then I suddenly realised I could calm myself and take it. So I sort of, I took a minute to myself and had a wander off on my own, as I usually do. And then um, just try and compose yourself and then stick it in the net. I should imagine your heart was pounding, especially in front of all the Vale fans. I wasn't actually that bad. I wasn't, I did a radio interview, um, a live one, two, two or three days afterwards. And I was more nervous doing the radio interview than I was taking the penalty. LDV action, Northern Area semi-final. Stoke kick-off, fans across the potteries, expectantly just hoping there's a bit of silverware going on there, mantelpiece. Port Vale, they've won the competition once, Stoke have, and they hope it's going to be them. It's going to be a cup tie atmosphere, a derby as well to boot. And Stoke City there, not clearing the lines. Mike Cummins with a first chance, finds Dave Brammer. Dave Brammer cuts inside. Left foot cross into the edge of the area. Up goes Brooker. Stoke clear the lines. Overhead kick there, quite spectacular. And the ball dropped down there to 19 Thordes. And he loses out. Sashi Burton switches it inside. Brammer loses out. Vale going forward. Tackles going in thick and fast. Bridge Wilkinson getting involved, tracking his man. Stoke going forward. And Vale, well, they've got the Indian sign over Stoke in recent matches. Mark Goodlad there just slices one, that'll be a throw in. Stoke with the resulting offside. Ball played in. Nicely played to the byline. Comes off Matty Carrier, played forward. Vale trying to chase on with Tony Naylor. Brammer tracking back against Graham Kavanagh, he's going backwards. And that's a good thing for Port Vale. They clear the ball halfway into Vale's own half. Matt Carragher, the captain. Right foot clearance, intercepted. Stoke coming forward. And nicely just laid up there. Can Stoke try something? Kavanagh with the shot. Good lad, not really tested. But there's 19, I do beg your pardon, Thordison. Quite difficult to spot Stoke. Red and white shirts, black numbers. Brammer though getting it underway for Port Vale. Right foot crossing, Tosh just turns it round, gets it to the byline, Naylor chips in up, in come the head, Stoke clear the danger, it's not over yet, in comes a shot from Alex Smith, oh that's a goal kick, Vale fans thought there that the top of the roof was going to bulge. Naylor's cross evading everyone, Smith in with the left foot, and well, that's unlucky. Mike Walsh with the throw on as we approach a critical time in the match Walshy with the throw long ball forward and the header there from Sashi Burton just wide he puts his hand 
onto his head and sprinting back. Brian Horton will be encouraged that Walsh, he's got to use these throws even more. Christensen, Bjarni Christensen. Throwing out Stoke, play it back, Christensen again. Right foot, clearance up the field, up go the heads. Walshie, Alex Smith getting involved in there. Dave Brammer just brings it back, knocks it down, Vale. Tony Naylor, lovely play, Brammer driving forward, finding Mike Cummins, Cummins on the right. Cuts inside, finds a bit of space, loses out. Stoke clear it, Vale take the loose ball up. Smithy, he switched sides from right to left. Stoke not clearing the danger, there's a shot on here. Mike Cummins, Christensen, just steers it past the post. Orvale with a throw in, both managers in the half-time interval will have told both teams it's all to play for, no goals at the moment. Saji Burton sprinting back, winding up steam, finding put Mark Goodlad. Goodlad plays it left side of the field, flicked inside by Mark Bridgewogs and Alex Smith with a more central role, crunching tackling on Smith, Vale going forward, Vale, the referee plays the advantage, Tony Naylor. Shields it well, plays it back. Alex Smith round the byline. He goes past Ben Petty, in goes the cross. Steve Brooker, Brammer feeds it wide. Cummins, goal! Port Vale one, Stoke City nil. Mike Cummins, the first one in there on Dave Brammer's pass. The play is straight round him. 64 minutes gone by my reckoning. And Port Vale won Stoke City nil in this LDV Northern Section semi-final. Could that be the goal that separates the teams? Brian Orton certainly thinks so. Lovely playoff, Brammer battling away there. Brooker had played the ball down to him. Brammer surrounded by three Stoke players, got the ball, showed enough of it to Mike Cummins. Right foot shot in and played it straight into the back of the net. 1-0, brilliant stuff. Alex Smith with the free kick. Left foot in, Saji Burton over the top, over the crossbar, cleared behind for the corner. Burton, two good efforts. Stoke going forward, trying to drive in for the equaliser. Played in, volley shot, Nicky Moen. Mark Goodlad, furious, Nicky Moen shows the club crest to the Stoke fans and Stoke City back in this game. But Port Vale, slap defended, but all credit to Stoke. They've come back, they've responded well. Nicky Moen gets it back on level pegging, but the defending Port Vale, questions asked. Mike Cummins, long throw. Stoke clear the decks again. Vale trudging back to regroup. Mike Walsh with the throw in. Brooker in with the shot there. Mickey Cummins lays it back. Alex Smith round his man number 18. Ben Petty takes a deflection, played in. Cav at the back, it's not cleared. Naylor's in there, two players around him. Tony Naylor, he's round his men. Naylor into the box, he's looking for options. Tony Naylor drags it forward. Nicky Moen, penalty. The appeals go up, the referee says yes. Nicky Moen, hero to villain. Port Vale, golden goal. Moen clearly handled the ball and the referee giving the penalty well Mark Bridge Wilkinson nerves of steel 2-1 golden goal Christensen almost got a touch to it Mark Bridge Wilkinson arms in the air 
His teammates just swarming him. Steve Booker there as the subs come off the bench. Foyle is there, Horton's there. The fans delighted. It means more on Monday morning when you get back to work, this result. 2-1 against Stoke City. Golden goal in extra time. Mark Bridge Wilkinson the winner. Lovely stuff, and this is who it's about, the fans. Absolutely delighted.